Hi everybody and welcome to today's video where I will be reviewing this box from Freedom Japanese Market. In case you haven't heard of them before, it is a monthly subscription box with Japanese candy and they've got free worldwide shipping which is pretty awesome and also if you do decide to order you can add my channel name in the order notes and they will send you one bonus candy for free. So the very first thing you see when you open it is this letter from the family who owns Freedom Japanese Market. And on the back of this paper you can find all the stuff that is included in the box. One thing that is really cool about these boxes is that they include a piece of origami in every box. This month it is a little origami paper bag. So one of the first things that I see in this box is a bunch of different fruit candies. I absolutely love this tiny one, so I'm going to start with this one. I just realized that this was a gum. It tastes fruity and I like it. So next I am going to try out one of the bigger packages in the box, which is these chocolates. It smells really good. So these chocolates has a cookie base which is really nice and crunchy. I personally think that this chocolate is a bit too dark for me, but they were still pretty good. So one of the things that I was most excited to try out was these Kit Kat bars with a flavor of sweet potato, which I think sounds really weird. As you can see, they are pretty yellow looking, which I find a little bit creepy, but let's give it a try anyways. Okay, so these were not as bad as I thought they would be. They taste pretty much like white chocolate. I would really recommend these. So the next thing in this box is this bag of fettuccine. I have no idea how it's pronounced, but they are soft gummy candy in the shapes of noodles. So these are really good, they taste a little bit fruity, a little bit sour, I really like them. So next up I've got this candy which is a corn puff with a flavor of wasabi steak. So let's give it a go. So the flavor of this one was way too strong for me, but if you like strong food and snacks, this might be your favorite. So next I've got this Black Thunder candy, which is apparently rice puffs and bitter chocolate. Mm, this one is definitely been my favorite so far. It's really crunchy and chocolatey and I absolutely love it. So this is a snack called Tupai Mucho. Mucho? I don't know. <laughs> Which has a both sour and salty flavor of pickled plum. Mm, these are really good. They remind me of sour cream and onion chips, which is probably my favorite flavor on chips. So this is one of the weirder candies in the kit. Uh, it says that when you want yakusoba, <laughs> but you don't want to cook, you can eat this. I have no idea what um, yakisoba is, but let's try it. 
So it looks like puffed rice dipped into some spices and also tiny noodle pieces. So it's a little bit salty, <laughs> tastes a little bit like noodles. I don't really like this, but if you're a fan of a yakisoba, <laughs> I'm sure you would love this. <laughs> and last but not least, the kit also includes this DIY box. I'm not gonna try it out in this video because I feel that this video would be very long if I did, but I might do it in another video. So that was everything that was included in my Freedom Japanese Market box. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know if you would like to see more videos like this one, and I will see you in my next video, bye bye!